Joe, this is your fourth Six Nations media launch and it seems to get busier every year. Oh, frantic, yeah. It's, uh, it's been manic, really, and I think uh, busier, probably bigger, and uh, I think the competition's going to be better. I, I, I just think there's so many teams that are, that are really on the, the upswing that it's going to be incredibly competitive. You've been asked every question under the sun today, but what was the, what was the kind of popular themes that the media were talking to you about? Um, most referenced New Zealand and, and the, the win in Chicago, and, and that is a reference point and a confidence booster. And I, I, I guess for us, it's, it's just so long ago now. It's almost, uh, it'll be pretty much exactly three months from there to uh, kick off in Scotland. And in between that time, we've played three further tests, plus the, the, the players have, have played their way through Europe. So... Um, you know, it, it's, it's quite difficult to uh, to use that as a reference point now. Our reference point was how we trained yesterday. <laughs> Our new reference point will be how we train tomorrow, really, uh, because that's that's what in real time is happening. And while that's quite pragmatic, it, it'd be nice to be a little bit nostalgic about New Zealand because it was an incredibly special day for us. Um, but now it's, it's all about how, how we try to negotiate such a tough uh, task at Murrayfield. And, and speaking of Murrayfield, you've, you've named the squad uh, ahead of the first two games of the championship. A couple of uncapped players, some of the guys who, who, who came in in November as well. Really exciting new look. Yeah, it, it, it's certainly a mix. Um, I think one of the, one of the things about naming uh, a big squad is that we only ever get uh, this one week and then we have one week into each of our matches. So, you know, this group of 40 are, are really... Uh, I suppose an opportunity to keep trying to build that depth, keep getting guys onto the same page so that whoever goes forward into the match squads in the next two weeks, if we then need to draw upon the, the wider squad, which is likely, um, it, there's not so much catch up time. So uh, it's, it's a, a little bit of a break for the provinces at the moment. So there is this window to, to try to utilise um, as many of the players as possible to prepare themselves for what is going to be an incredibly combative and competitive uh, Six Nations Championship.